maybe I should paint her. Maybe I should maybe I should get my cage and, and paint her up. They seem to like her. Hey bug farmers, welcome to Bug Farmer Beekeeping, where we dive into the world of apiculture, beekeeping, and bees every week. This is the place to share laughs, explore bees, and learn together, all without taking ourselves too seriously. To join our buzzing community, it's easy and it's free. Just hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and let's cultivate beekeeping knowledge and fun together. Now, let's get into the bees. All right, so the plan for today is I'm going to go through every single hive that I've done the Demeray split on, and I'm going to check the upper boxes just to make sure that everything's okay and that I don't have any more queen cells up there. I shouldn't by this point, but a couple of them I did actually come back and take some more brood out of the bottom and brought it up to the top. Um, so there is a chance that on a couple of these I may have a queen cell up there. Um, in a couple of the hives, I am going to go through the entire hive just to see what's going on down in the bottom, and I'll probably do that on this first one. We'll probably do an entire inspection on this one just to see what's happening in the bottom. Um, I also have to say that this hive may be a little bit weaker than the rest of them because I have taken two more frames of brood that was already capped, and it was nice and dark in color, and I moved it over to the Enigma Hive last week when we found the queen. She was really shy on bees, so I gave them a couple of frames of brood from here. The very last time that I'm gonna be robbing Peter to pay Paul there. Um, so if that queen doesn't make it happen, then I'm just gonna replace the queen. Make me proud. Make me proud. Hello. Okay, we do have quite a few bees up here. That is good. That is good. Hello ladies, I should also be seeing a lot of nectar in this upper box. Last time I was out here, these bees had about three frames of nectar each in the boxes already. All right, this is the big zilch, nothing at all happening there. Okay, this box has nectar in it. They do have nectar right here. Okay, that is a full frame of nectar. And that is a heavy frame of nectar. All right, a lot of drones on there. No queen cells. Fantastic. Okay. That's an entire frame of uncapped nectar. That is good. We are in, uh, in full bloom around here. And it's only the middle of March, which is crazy. Okay, that is another frame with a lot of nectar on this side. What do we have here? You know, they're just starting to bring the nectar in, along with bee bread on that side. Hello, ladies. Oh, my gosh. All right, another full frame. I've got to show you. I'm going to get this closer. Look at that. These girls are bringing in the goods. Okay, these girls are doing what I expected them to be doing. They are backfilling. Holy moly. Wow. Oh, that's a heavy box. Goodness. Oh, they're bringing in nectar here. This is a heavy frame. Okay, we have a lot of opened and capped honey on here. The capped is old. The opened is new. We have here, that is a very light frame. No brood on it. So one thing that we know for sure is the brood is no longer in these boxes. It, uh, the brood is done. Hello, ladies. I expect that they're going to be pulling comb right here. So the queen has some place to lay. Nothing happening there yet. Nothing happening on that frame. See if they're drawing out anything here. Okay, they're pulling this. That is good. Because that queen needs some place to lay. This is the frame that she's been laying on. So now down here we have four. So there she is right there. There's our queen. The problem is this frame is filled with nectar. She's got nowhere to lay on this frame. That is not good. I guess that's why you have to have drawn out comb to do this right. Okay, there is room for her to lay. Well, no, there's not. Those are all... It's already been laid. All right. As long as she's not making a queen cell down here, I'm happy. She's just gonna have to get her girls to start pulling the wax. So 
so that she can uh, she can start laying. Oh goodness! There's another full frame of honey. Why are they putting honey down here? I don't know what they're thinking. They're, they're actually filling this with honey, and not leaving anywhere for the queen to lay. All right. Let's see what we have happening here. We have some festooning going on. Okay, so they're drawing this out. And they're putting honey in it. Why are they putting honey down here in this box? This doesn't make sense to me. They're not supposed to be doing that. They're supposed to be putting nectar above the queen excluder and drawing that out for the queen. I, I, I don't understand what's happening here, but what we're going to do, we're going to put it back together. Maybe they'll start moving honey upstairs, I hope. All right, so that's not what I expected to be going on. I, I thought for sure they're going to be drawing a lot more comb down there. And they really haven't drawn anything more than they had drawn last week. And everything else, they're filling it with honey, and I don't understand that. They've got a box up here and a box here that they can put the honey in. They can save that for the queen. And they've got plenty of resources and plenty of bees down there to draw wax. I don't understand what it is that they're doing. All right, we're going to go to the next hive. All right, draw the frames, ladies. Get to work. All right, I guess considering what I found in the last hive, I guess I'm going to go all the way to the bottom here as well. Hello, ladies. Hello. Okay, there's a lot of bees on the top. I just uh, heard a giant roar. Hello. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, we have a queen cell. Oh, we have a hatched queen cell. That's not good. That is not good. That means we have a virgin queen in this box. That is not good. How did I miss that? Okay. This is not good at all. All right. Oh, we have another cluster of what used to be queen cells right there. I don't know how I missed those. This is the one thing that you cannot do when you're doing Demeray, and that is miss queen cells. All right, that is, that one's empty. Oh, and there is a virgin queen right there. Okay, let me get her. Okay, I have a virgin queen in this clip. I'm going to let her sit there for a second. I'll make sure we don't have any more. All right, I'm going to go back down and see what it is that I can find below. The queen is still right there. She's locked in the cage and she's going to stay in there until I know exactly what's going on inside this hive. That is an unexpected find. To be honest, I really wasn't expecting to be in this situation. I thought for sure I'd, I'd done a good job at eliminating all of the queen cells. Barely, I made a mistake. We also want to make sure that these girls are drawing comb. All right, here we go. Let's see what we have here. We want to find one and only one queen in this box. That's all we want. One queen and one queen only. If we find more than one queen or another piping virgin down here, we're going to whack it. Okay, they are pulling that comb in a big way. So they're drawing comb. What do we have here? Okay, we have we have eggs. So we have a queen in this box for sure. And she was here recently. Because I have eggs on this frame. A lot of bees, too. Let me see her here. We have 
eggs on this frame as well. A lot going on on there. Do not see the queen. Oh, look at all that brood. That's a nice frame. Keep your eyes peeled for the queen or a virgin. Assuming this is where we're going to find the queen, here or the next frame. Don't see her on there. That is a full frame of brood. There she is right there, and she's still marked. So our queen lives in this bottom box. And I think that these girls in this bottom box are gonna protect her from any virgin that happens to come down here. And what I'll do is I'll check the Enigma Hive really quick to make sure that the virgin uh, that I found the other day with Crynock is laying. And if it is, then that queen can stay in there. If not, I may just toss that queen into the box and, uh, and see what happens. All right, ladies, here we go. Now again, this girl has been painted green. I'm just gonna take a cursory look through the top box because I do have a queen excluder on here to keep her down in the bottom. All right, if we ever, she's gonna be down here. All right, now if we see her, the green one, then we know that uh, she's been accepted, but I also wanna see some eggs if the green queen is in here. Nothing happening there. All right, what do we have here? No queen, no eggs. Let me go ahead and move on. Okay, no virgin, no eggs. I wanna see eggs. That is what we need. Oh, look at all these queen cells. One, two, three, four, five, and they're all capped. Okay. So they've not done anything with them yet. which means they really don't like the queen that we found and painted green because those are gonna hatch any day. And here's another, one's chewed out. Here's another uh, capped one on the back that they have not done anything with. We may have virgin queens running all over the inside of this box. And if so, I'll just let the other one go in here too. It will be a battle royale. You know, me, I like any queen that I get in the box. I'll, I'll be happy, but I want them to have a queen that they like. And right now, well, I still don't see the green queen. Okay, I do not see the green queen. I do not see any eggs yet. So we have here. Okay. We're looking for a virgin queen or the green queen. I think we're going to be releasing that queen into this hive. Okay. Yeah, there's no eggs. That queen is, she's gone again. Let's just set this down on top of the hive really quick. Let's see how they react. They're really not reacting at all. Let's get her over here. Let her smell waft around a little bit while I look for that green queen again. I will give it one more. One more look, the old college try. We'll look around. Okay, okay, first I'll let you have a look at how they're treating her. We'll just set her right there in the middle and see how they're treating her. It's like they're indifferent. She's in there with two or three nurse bees from the other hive. All right, so I've got the camera zoomed in close so you can see how they're treating her. I've got her pushed right here to the middle of the bees. They don't seem to be doing anything bad to her. 
So the question is, do I let her out? And if I do, she could stab those other queen cells and wipe them out, and then she could fly away and come back to that hive. But if she has not been on a mating flight yet and they accept her, maybe she'll f do her orientation flight here and fly away and come back into this hive. All right, here goes nothing. We're gonna go ahead and let her out and see what they do. I'll do it facing you. So she's gonna walk out and we're gonna see what she does, what they do to her, what she does with them. Here she goes. There she is, she's out. Okay, she's on the she's on the frame. We're on the there she goes. Okay, she just walked down into the hive. Now let's let's look at the behavior on the outside of the, on the top of the frame here. And actually, what I can do is I can I can pull these frames out. We can have a look. This video is getting awfully long here, but what we'll do is we'll just look at this, and then I will go ahead and uh, and do my work and come back at the end and tell you what I found because the day's getting long in the tooth, and uh, it's going to be raining all weekend. So this will be my last opportunity to go through this hive or these hives, and I don't want to have a lot of queen cells in the top so I definitely have to get through all of this uh, all of this work tonight okay we know that she's not there she walked down right there so she's gonna be on this frame or that frame so she's going to be here or on that other frame let's see if we can find her and see what the see what the hell they're treating her okay I do not see her we should have marked her but oh there she is right there There she is. Right there. They seem to be fine with her. They're all around her. They're sniffing her. Let's see if they ball her. If they ball her, then that's they don't want her. And they've got more queen cells. She's kind of laying there, letting them sniff her. She's deciding. They're deciding. Okay. She's still walking around. They're still smelling. They're still smelling. The question is, will they start grooming her? She's right here. She's kind of laying there, letting them get they're underneath of her. They're all around. She's kind of kind of spreading her legs out, letting them sniff all around her. The question is, is the queen that we painted green last week, does that queen have a pheromone at all? And maybe this one doesn't either. Maybe they just see her as like, hey, maybe one of those queen cells hatched. Okay, she's wandering around. They're not, they're not balling her. They're not chasing her. I've seen, I've seen it go sideways really quick before introducing a queen, and this is not going sideways. Okay, now she's, now she's running. Well, she's just kind of, she's still walking around. I think they like her. Maybe I should paint her. Maybe I should, maybe I should get my cage and, and paint her up. They seem to like her. She's letting them all have a look. I'm not going to paint her up yet because I don't want I don't want the, the smell of of paint to be on her and have that drive them nuts and I don't want them to kill her. Okay, well this worked out. This worked out well. I'm gonna say that she's accepted. Are they feeding her yet? Are they grooming her? They're, they're certainly not attacking her. They seem to be very happy that she's there. Now the question is, has she been mated? I hope she has. If she's been mated, we may have a, uh, we have a keeper here. Okay, she just dipped her abdomen in a cell. I don't think she's got eggs yet. 
Okay, now she's kind of tucking her abdomen under. Awesome bees are smelling her. Okay, she's still walking around. They don't, they haven't gotten aggressive with her. I think she's good. I think she's good. Based on what you've seen, you tell me in the comments if you think that, uh, that she's gonna survive. I'm gonna put her back in the hive. So I've got work to do here, but uh, I think I think they like her. I think they like her, okay? Let's put it away. Tell me what you think in the comments. All right, the sun's getting low in the sky. I've got to check these other hives. I'll be back at the end to let you know how it all worked out. If I find something crazy or amazing, I'll, I'll share it with you. Um, oh, you know what? I wonder if I should take those queen cells out of here now. Another question. So it looks like they've accepted her. Do I whack those queen cells? Oh, that's a tough decision. You know what? I'm going to let the bees sort it out. I know for a fact. You saw, I saw, we all saw there's a queen in there. Queen right. All right.